my name is Elizabeth Pym. I'm one of the two orchestra teachers here at Birch Grove, and I'm here today to tell you how to get signed up for orchestra at Birch Grove. Hi, my name is Mr. Joseph Kruger, and I'm the other orchestra teacher at Birch Grove. I would like to welcome you as well, and thank you so much for your interest in the orchestra program. Just to let you know, Mrs. Pym and I both teach at Birch Grove, so your child will have one of us, or both of us at times. In this meeting, we will be discussing, first of all, what lessons will look like this year at Birch Grove. Second of all, we will demonstrate all the orchestra instruments for you so you can pick the one that you think is the best for you. Third, we will discuss how and where to get an instrument. And finally, we will tell you how to register for our Birch Grove Orchestra. I would like to talk to you a little bit about what lessons will look like this year. First of all, it depends what model we are in. If we are doing distance learning or you are a part of the Distance Learning Academy, all lessons will occur online. If we are in the hybrid mode, we will have one or two lessons at Birch Grove first, mostly to distribute materials and get some basics taught. And then lessons will be online after that. The online lessons during hybrid mode will be on the student's off day. So if they typically go to school on the A days, they will have their lesson on the B days. There, so those lessons will be synchronous and online. There will be a multitude of asynchronous resources and assignments available on Seesaw. And we will talk more about those later. As a quick overview of our orchestra program here at Birch Grove, right now we are in our instrument selection process. Pretty soon you'll hear videos of us playing different instruments and you can pick the one that you think sounds the best for you. Then the first week of October, all of our third grade violin and viola players will start on a box violin. All other players, all fourth graders, plus all third grade cello players will begin on their instrument, on their real instrument right away. We will have one 30 minute lesson every week, synchronously, online, and grades will be given on the report card at the end of the trimester. Hopefully we'll be back in school later on in the year and hopefully we'll be able to have a concert at the end of the year. The dates for that are listed on the website, the orchestra website, and we will keep you up to date on whether or not we are able to have that concert or not. That will be on the website as well, and I'm sure we'll email you too. Choosing an instrument. When it comes to choosing an instrument, we recommend that students choose the instrument that has the sound that they like the most, because that will definitely increase the chance of them being successful at it. Now, please keep in mind that if you qualify to get a school instrument, your choices are going to be viola, cello, and bass. If you are getting a violin, that needs to be rented from the music store. Also, please remember that these instruments come in the correct size for your child. For example, an adult cello may look really big, but that would not be the size a beginning student would start on. Let's also talk about transportation of instruments, especially larger instruments. Violins and violas, of course, can always go on the bus. Cellos can sometimes go on the bus, depending on the permission of the bus driver and bases need to be transported back and forth from school by the parents. One final thing on bases, we start bases in fourth grade, not third grade. So the choices you have in third grade are violin, viola, and cello. Hi, my name is Mrs. Kinneberg and I'm playing the violin. The violin is a member of the string family, which includes the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. The violin is the smallest member of the orchestra, so it plays the highest. The violin plays all different styles of music, classic, jazz, fiddle, and pop, 
and its main job is to play the melody. I'm going to play for you the lowest string on the violin and the highest. And if I put my fingers down, I can change pitches. And if I put my fingers down in different combinations, I can play songs. I'm going to play a little bit of the song Allegro for you, which is a song you'll learn this year. shoulder you'll notice violins of many different sizes that's because all of the orchestra instruments violin viola cello and bass come in many different sizes so we'll be able to find the right size instrument for you thank you and that's the violin hi i'm mrs barhorst and i have the viola similar to the violin you play it over your shoulder and under your chin here is the lowest string on the viola. And here is the highest. Here is a scale. I too will play allegro, but on my lower two strings so that you can hear how special the viola truly is. for the violin or the viola, you're going to want to measure your arm. Please make sure you have an adult help you. You're going to want to take a tape measure or a ruler and measure from the side of the neck, extend your arm, and measure from here all the way down your arm to the center of the palm of your hand. You can go to the orchestra website, bring the measurement, and it will convert to a size of instrument of violin or viola. Then you will know which size instrument that you should rent. Getting the proper size instrument will help ensure success. I have the cello. The cello is much larger than either the violin or the viola, and you might look at it and say, wow, that thing's heavy. That's not for me. Well, I'm here to tell you that, yes, it could be for you. It's all hollow inside, so it doesn't weigh nearly as much as you might think. And so it's not that bad to lift up and carry. And many students of mine have carried theirs back and forth to school without a problem. What they do when carrying the cello is a lot of the cases nowadays come with backpack straps on them and they'll strap their cello to their back and then they'll put their book bag on the front and off they go down the street. It works great. So the cello being much larger than either the violin or the viola gets a much lower sound. This is the low string on the cello and the high string on the cello and the notes in between. And I've got a fun little song for you. with the string base. Don't be daunted by the size. This is the size that an adult would play. We call it a three-quarter. To my side over here, I have a one-quarter base, which is the size most fifth graders will play, and I have a half-size base, which is the size most of the middle schoolers will be playing on. Now, something you need to know about the base it cannot go on school buses. Our bus company does not allow them to go on because they're cumbersome, too hard to get in and out of the bus. If, when, we are in full on school where we all go back to school, we will need you to transport the base one time a week for the lesson. Bring it to school in the morning and pick it up in the afternoon with your child. 
That way the, the base will be able to be practiced at home. However, as long as we are in distance or hybrid, the lessons will be through virtual lessons and you won't need to transport, of course, in that case. Once students are in middle school or high school, we try to have one base that will go home and stay home for practice, and they use a base at school that will be remain there and be there for them to play on. Now, like the other teachers, I'll play a scale that can show you the entire range of the base, and then I will play the same piece that they have played. string base. Generally speaking, bases do not come in small enough sizes for third graders. Therefore, we do not offer it in third grade at Birch Grove. We do, however, offer the string base in grades four and five at Birch Grove. If your child is a third grader and really loves the string base, have them start this year on the, on the cello then we can switch them the bass in fourth grade. Orchestra Karate is an incentive-based system. It's a way of motivating our students using the required assignments and skill-building exercises to earn belts. Each belt they earn represents an increasingly challenging piece. Orchestra Karate is fully integrated into Seesaw, which means that students will be able to use teacher tutorials and recordings on Seesaw to help them on their pieces which they will then submit through Seesaw to earn belts. Let's talk about Seesaw. Seesaw is self-paced. I just explained about Orchestra Karate and how it is a great self-paced program because students can go as far as they would like. Just to clarify, in Seesaw classes we have weekly activities and practice material for the students and our grading assignments will be on Seesaw. Resources. On Seesaw, we will be including teacher videos that will show students what they need to know step by step, and we will demonstrate to them all the skills they will be learning in a fun and easy way. Feedback. Finally, there will be various opportunities for us teachers to give feedback to students on this platform, and parents are invited to participate in continuous communication. Obtaining a good instrument is very important to the success of your child. The majority of our families rent from a local music store. I would like to caution you, however, against ISOs. ISOs are instrument-shaped objects. They look great and the price is fantastic. However, they're poorly made and can be very expensive to repair. They don't work correctly and your child would become frustrated and end up wanting to quit because the instrument doesn't sound right. Basically, if you are looking to get an instrument from an online retailer that also sells household goods, it's probably not a good choice. Instead, we recommend renting from one of our local music stores. These are listed in the orchestra handbook and on the orchestra website. Our, our families have told us that they've had good luck at these stores, and renting is really the best idea at this point. With our students being smaller than full-size adults, when they grow, you can easily take that rented instrument back to the local store and trade it up for the correct size. It makes it much easier on the parents. If your child chooses string bass, or if you have submitted the paperwork for free and reduced lunch, you may request the use of a school district instrument. I would like to caution you, however, that if your child is wanting to play violin, we do not have any school district violins for rent. If your child really wants to play violin, I would recommend they start on a viola. 
this way. It's very similar to the violin. It looks the same and is played the same, and they can get started on an instrument using our district supply. For all string instruments, some additional supplies are going to need to be purchased. Everyone is required to purchase a music stand. Music stands promote good posture when students are practicing and they are necessary for all student concerts. Everyone is also required to purchase a music supply kit for their specific instrument. These inexpensive supply kits all come with cleaning cloths and rosin. Now rosin is what is rubbed on the bow to make the bow grip the strings better. The kits also contain items that are unique for the instruments. Violins and violas will have shoulder rests. Cellos and basses will have rock stops, which are items that help keep the instruments in the correct position. If students are renting their instrument from a store, they may purchase a music stand and the supply kit through the store. If students are getting their instruments from the school, they may purchase the music stand and supply kit from the school. Now that we have discussed the orchestra program, it is time to register. At the end of this presentation, there will be a link that will take you to the registration form. Please type that link into your browser and fill out the registration form. If you qualified for free or reduced lunch last year and have submitted paperwork for it this year, please check the box. At the end of the registration form, there will be a link to our handbook and orchestra website. Please click there for more information on instruments, finding the correct size of instrument, and any other questions you may have. As always, Mr. Kruger and Mrs. Pym are both available to answer any questions you may have by email. Please feel free to email them at any point. Thank you for spending time with us. Once again, make sure to type this link into your browser and fill out the registration form. Mr. Kruger and I will be available by email at any point if you have any other questions. Thank you, and we look forward to having a great year in our Birch Grove Orchestra.